So this diagram here, right, shows you the critical motivation moments that you can uh, put in these five uh, so-called instructional behaviors. Now, before you plan your lesson, during pre-lesson uh, planning, the teacher takes the perspective of the student. Now, this can be from the previous lesson, right? The student gives some feedback about uh, their learning, uh, what they would like to learn more, uh, what they don't understand, they want to uh, hear more explanation about that. You take their perspective into consideration, right? So now you start to plan your lesson. During lesson planning, right, the teacher design learning activities that can vitalize students' inner motivation resources. Now, if the tasks are not very interesting, right, or students may face a lot of difficulty, the teachers need to think about the rationale to try and push students on and so on. So we need to prepare the students, right, for difficult uh, topics, you know, things like that. So as the lessons begin, right, just like what I, how I have started my today's talk, I invite the students to in engage uh, in this journey with me, right? So we invite the students, some of the students may come in from, you know, different uh, venues, you know, some of them may just, just finish a, a recess and they are still perspiring, they're still, you know, having fun, talking about, you, we make sure that the students are ready to move with us. Then we start the lesson. And as the lesson begins, right, we start to engage the students, right, invite the students uh, and we will monitor Right, as the lesson moves on, the teacher will then monitor, adjust the strategies accordingly, uh, use non pressurizing language, display patience, acknowledge uh, negative uh, feelings or resistance, all right, check with the students. And after the lesson, right, we could give some time or you know, use some platform for students to provide feedback about this particular lesson. What are the things that they have learned? You know, what are the things that they like the most? Uh, what are their preferences, uh, what are the things that the teachers uh, can touch on a little bit more. So we can actually get all this uh, students' feedback, reflection, and then we can plan it for our next lesson by taking in their perspective. Okay.